nine runners dispatched and on their way to the first of 20 fences. And it's 12 o'clock high, lands in front of the first. HMP Blue didn't jump the first very well. Richard Smith was forced to sit very tight. But on the run to the second, it's 12 o'clock high in front of Riddle Me This and then Raw Condition. Midnight Millie is next from HMP Blue. Cousin Guillaume is racing in sixth position as a crossover fence number two. And uh, then Danny Max towards the outside of Arnie and Blue Lodge is last of the night. Jumping fence number three, 12 o'clock high. And Riddle Me This, we're pretty much together at it. Raw condition giving chase back in third. Midnight Millie just running a little bit wide, very wide on that table. Being quite heavily restrained, Midnight Billy, towards the back of runners. So they turn down the far side. And it's 12 o'clock high to Riddle Me This and Raw Condition. HMP Blue and Cousin, Cousin Guillaume are racing fourth and fifth. Then oh, uh, no. behind Midnight those Midnight comes Arnie. Midnight, Midnight Millie has been pulled up <laughs> then after jumping just three fences. Something must have been amiss. He was trying to pull her up, I think, going into that turn. Danny Mag towards the tail of the field and uh, Blue Lodge is last of all. So they cross fence five, no change in the order, and make a fairly long run towards the sixth fence. Riddle me this and Philip Greaves, just in front of 12 o'clock high in William Easterby. Then Raw Condition and Max Johnson. Cousin Guillaume and John Dawson are next from HMP Blue and Richard Smith. Danny Max then towards the outside of Arnie and Will Milburn and uh, Nim Spalding back to the field on Blue Lodge. All over the sixth Blue Lodge, a little bit unconvincing with his jumping there. Danny Max written by Jack Jordan just preceding him. So they come past us and it's Riddle Me This making the running. Pretty steady gallop, very steady indeed as he has a look at the crowd or something, Bouncy Castle probably. And uh, so they go into this bend with Riddle Me This, the leader, to 12 o'clock high in second, more condition than on the outside of the favourite. Cousin Guillaume racing in purple with a white cap services of John Dawson as they jump fence number seven. Cousin Guillaume then is followed by Midnight Billy. Uh, HMP Blue and Blue Lodge are next with Danny Maggs who finds himself in the tail of the field and can jump the open ditch for the first time. But fairly well grouped. The nine eight runners that remain as they uh, Jump the next, a mistake from Danny Max. Ryder didn't lose anything by that mistake. Ross didn't seem to lose much momentum either. So jumping the last up this side of the course. And again, all were safe. Riddle me this. And Phil with Greaves making the running. 12 o'clock high giving chase. Then raw condition, Cousin Guillaume is next alongside Arnie. They're then followed then by HMP Blue and Blue Lodge and Danny Max. That's the eight runners as they jump over fence number 11. No change in the order as they race down the far side of the course. Riddle me this, a length to the good then over 12 o'clock high in second. Raw conditions in third, the runner-up Daskin Bryant a few weeks ago. Cousin Yam placed in a maiden up Annick, then close up towards the inside. It's a nice individual, that one. And, uh, Arnie is next in the field. Blue Lodge is only about four or five lengths off the pace alongside that. Then Danny Mags and HMP Blue is uh, struggling under Richard Smith. Two or three lengths detached from the other runners. Fence 13. Riddle me this. It's over with the uh, lead of a length or so. So it's Riddle me this. Leading 12 o'clock high, raw condition. As they come past this blue lodge is in a share of fourth place. Then with Arnie on the near side. Cousin Guillaume close up in sixth place and then Danny Max and HMP Blue uh, called enough. 
with seven fences left to jump in the Tees Valley Mitsubishi Open Main Race. As they near the first of the two along this side of the course. Riddle me this. To 12 o'clock high. There was a mistake there from raw condition in the midfield as they're over the open ditch the final time. No mistakes at that fence. Blue Lodge has come now to join the leading duo of the Nim Scalding. So it's Blue Lodge racing towards the outside of Riddle Me This. 12 o'clock high between runners. And uh, then came Raw Condition with Arnie trying to get into things. Cousin Guillaume yet to play his hand just behind these leaders. And Danny Mags whipping them in. Jumping four from the finish. And Danny Max a little bit slower than the others. So they make this turn at the far end of the course. There's three fences left to jump and about half a mile left to run from here. And Raw Condition has come through to take it off, Riddle Me This. Raw Condition and Max Johnson to Riddle Me This with Blue Lodge still plenty handy enough. And then behind those comes uh, Cousin Guillaume waiting for that one to make his move and he fell. Cousin Guillaume has fallen at three from the finish and holding every chance. Got in the way of Danny Max who was just trying to improve. And uh, 12 o'clock high, I think he's going to be pulled up. So the two fences left to jump here. And it's raw condition. Two lengths in front of Blue Lodge in second. And then has driven along for dear life. Behind that is Riddle Me This. Then comes Arnie and Danny Max. Just one fence left to jump here. And it's raw condition in the hands of uh, Max Johnson. Four or five lengths in front of Blue Lodge. Danny Max is coming through now to take second off Blue Lodge. Riddle Me This and Arnie behind those. So they straighten up with one fence left to jump here. Danny Mags on the inside of Raw Condition. Raw Condition much better at the fence. And Raw Condition comes up the run in here. Meets the rising ground. Blue Lodge has come through to take second here. And it's Raw Condition from Blue Lodge as they race close home. And uh, it's Raw Condition that wins from Blue Lodge in second. They finish quite a long way clear of Riddle Me There and then Danny Mags. 